Hello everyone. Welcome to the new episode of Tech Facts and I'll be presenting some very interesting tech news. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as whenever I post a video, you get a notification without fail. So, let's start. Sony's Xperia 5 Mark II is all set to debut on September 17 and has leaking left and right in the past weeks. The latest entry in the rumor mill in the fourth Geekbench test run which reveals the expected it's powered by the Snapdragon 865 with 8GB RAM and runs Android 10. The first set of renders highlight the phone 6.1 inch FHD plus OLED display in its all tall 21-9 aspect ratio. It will be allegedly come with 120Hz refresh rate. And we can see from IP rating as well as wireless casting to TVs and monitors. We also get a front facing speakers and 3.5mm headphone jack. Then also come the 312MP cameras and the Cinema Pro app which allows the detailed shooting parameter controls. One of the images confirms that the camera specs on the Xperia 5 Mark II with an 1.7 aperture main shooter, 124 degree ultra wide lens, and 70mm equivalent 2.4 aperture telephoto module with 3x optical zoom. The phone will be also support the Dual Shock 4 phone clip attachment, which is essentially turns into a handheld console on which you can stream your PS4 games or play supported Android titles. So let us see when the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II gets launched globally. Here are some leaks regarding the Huawei Watch Fit. The Huawei Watch Fit, the latest smartwatch from the Chinese company that comes with the big rectangular display and promises a long battery life with plenty of features. The Huawei Watch Fit has a 1.64 inch AMOLED screen with slightly curved edges from all the sides. The watch is made from the durable polymer fiber which is a fancy name for plastic and there is a single button on the side. It comes in three colors and can be matched with four different straps all made from the silicon. The watch fit comes with Huawei's own light OS. The official spec sheet says nothing about the chipset but we have pretty sure that it is going to be the Kirin A1 inside. All the features one would expect from the smartwatch are here, customizable watch faces, training videos, plenty of workout modes including a smart detection of what exactly is going on, building GPS sensor, SPO2 meter, 24 hour heart sensor. The watch will also monitor sleep and menstruation cycle, provides stress relief exercises, shows all the notifications from the smartphone, controls the music, remote shutter. Speaking about the battery life, Huawei promises a 10 day with typical usage and 7 day with heavy usage. Using the GPS continuously will drain the battery in 12 hours which could be fine even for the most adventurous sports people. It is currently listed only on the Huawei's UAE website and pricing is set to be revealed on Thursday that is September 3rd. So what do you think will be the price of the Huawei watch fit? Tell me in the comment section below. The Samsung Galaxy M51 will officially soon get released in India but to our surprise the phone went official on Samsung's official German website revealing most of its key features. The centerpiece feature of the phone is a Umogos 7000mAh battery promising more than 2 days of single charge with the support of 25W charging. Chipset behind the wheel is the Snapdragon 730 although Galaxy M51 landing page mentions only an octa-core processor paired with 6GB RAM and 128GB of storage expandable via micro SD card. The display is 6.7 inch Super AMOLED with FHD plus resolution but with side mounted fingerprint reader. The quad camera area on the back houses a 64MP main camera, 12MP ultra wide, one with 123 degree field of view and 5MP macro shooter. The other 5MP is just for depth sensing while the front one is of 32MP. As of now, the, the phone is in pre-order stage and asks for 360 euros. So let's see at what price does the Samsung Galaxy M51 gets launched in India. Nokia is apparently working on the power earbuds light. It will be having a Bluetooth 5.1 connection and theoretically the light could even offer better battery than the 5 wish hours of music playback on the original manage with 150 extra hours worth of the juice from the 3000mAh battery in the carrying case. Power earbuds light retain some other features of the siblings like the IPX7 rating. HMD's global participation in IFA 2020 is also already quite certain along with info that the company will be unveiling a sleeve of a new budget to mid-range devices at the show, the Nokia 2.4, 3.4, 6.3 and 7.3. Perhaps the new power Live will be joining the show on September 3. 
The new affordable lineup by Huawei is going to be called the Enjoy 20 and we finally have an official launch date that is September 3, which is this Thursday. At the event, we expect to see two smartphones, Huawei Enjoy 20 and Huawei Enjoy 20 Plus. The Enjoy 20 Plus also looks familiar. The circular design came with the Mate 30 flagships, but we see a single LED shooter is one of the holes, meaning the triple camera setup rather than a quad setup. The Huawei says we are going to see a 5000 mAh battery with 40 watt fast charging capabilities but does not reveal if both the phones will have that. We also see fingerprint scanner is on the side meaning that the front is an LED CD but that's pretty much everything we know officially. Unofficially through leaked photos we expect to see a 6.63 inch full HD plus panel with no notches 4200 mAh battery and 40 watt charging. Leaked hands-on images of the Huawei 20 are out as well. The screen confirms a MediaTek MT6853 5G chipset expected to pick all the Diamond City 600. The images also reveal the depth about the triple camera, 13MP main, 5MP ultra wide plus 2MP depth sensor. The selfie camera will be 8MP hidden behind a water drop notch. We do not see a fingerprint sensor anywhere on the body. The Huawei might decide to scrap the security measure although from the Enjoy 20. This would make the phone the most affordable 5G phone set but we have to wait until Thursday to see whether these rumors got right or not. So what do you think about this phone? Tell me in the comment section below. HMD Global's participation in IFA 2020 is already quite certain along with info that the company will be unveiling a new budget to mid-range devices to the show. The Nokia 3.4 codenamed Doctor Strange will likely be among this alongside the Nokia 2.4 known as the Wolverine. Having stopped by the Geekbench already, the Nokia 3.4 is clearly out there in industry insider circles. The Nokia 3.4 is clearly not going to be a rebatch of the C5 ND though. The punch hole selfie camera is one of that proof. It is expected to be an 8 MP snapper. The display will be alleged to be a 6.5 inch 19 inch to 9 ratio and HD plus unit. The circular camera array should uh, consist of 13 MP plus 2 MP plus 5 MP triple camera setup. Sources also claim that Nokia 3.4 will have a 4000 mAh battery with 10 watt charging while micro USB and 3.5 mm audio jack. Also as per several sources, the Nokia 3.4 will be based on Snapdragon Bengal chipset along with 3 GB of RAM. The, that code name is associated with either the Snapdragon 662 or either the Snapdragon 460. Both chips are nearly identical differing mainly in the clock speed. Either way, we are looking for a slightly more potent device compared to the c 5 nd and its MediaTek Helio P22 chipset, a part which rumors claims will be also core for the upcoming Nokia 2.4. We expect both of these handsets to be unveiled on September 3, likely joining them will be the fine mid-range Nokia 6.3 and 7.3, a logical pair to further flush out the current Nokia lineup. So are you excited for these upcoming Nokia phones? Tell me in the comment section below. We already know that Huawei is working on at least one new smart device wearable, the watch fit. A new and rather bountiful leak now adds a watch GT2 Pro to the list as well. Like the name said, this is not entirely new device like the rectangular fit but rather an upgrade or the next iteration of the company's flagship GT line of wearables. We apparently know that the watch GT2 Pro will come in at least a classic and a sport variant. The GT2 Pro leak does not offer enough info to really say anything about the size variant and the potential differences there. It does however mention titanium as the body material. The new design harkens back to the original Huawei watch from 2015 unlike it and the GT2. However, the GT2 Pro appears to use a slightly less standard strap attachment design with the unit's side digging onto the band for a lighter look. Apparently, it will feature a 5 atmosphere water resistant rating, professional health monitoring, backup by over 100 new exercise modes and tracking of SPO2 plus an advanced GPU system. There will be speaker on board which is also apparently from one of the images showing the match making a call. Anyways, rounding to the substantial leak off, we have some renders of the magnetic wireless charging base for the watch GT2 Pro. If those are believed, it is rated at 10 watt as an input, of course due to inheritance inefficiency of wireless charging at not going to be nearly the current amount going to the watch itself. So let's see what happens to the future of the Huawei watch GT2 Pro in the upcoming days. 
Hello everyone. Welcome to the new episode of Tech Facts and I'll be presenting some very interesting tech news. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as whenever I post a video, you get a notification without fail. So, let's start.